Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP EliteBook 840 G8 laptop. I'm going to show you how to get in, access your internal battery. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you only have five screws here, three up top, two near the middle. And after you remove those screws, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your case a lot more than the plastic ones do. So take a small flat plastic pry tool and then go across this seam all the way around the bottom case, all the way here, inside here, and slowly, gently pry off that bottom case from the rest of the computer. Now, as far as bottom cases go, this one wasn't very bad. This was an easy bottom case to pry off from other laptops that I've worked on. After you get the bottom case off, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, just as a side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet. These are great ideas to avoid damaging your computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies like that to get into your computer and to make your work area safe, as well as any replacement parts, the batteries, hard drive, RAM, fans, any components in the HP EliteBook 840G8. I'll have a link up top, also below in, in the description. It'll be a collection of all the tools and supplies that I use on this project, as well as any replacement upgrade parts for this computer. Okay, so here's your battery down here on the bottom. There are four screws holding this battery in on top. One here, one here one here, one here. So all four battery screws on top. In order to get the battery out, you also have to take this speaker wire here. See how the speaker wire goes along the bottom of the battery? That's kind of stuck in there. So you gotta make sure that the speaker wire is not connected to the battery before you just go rip that battery out. You could damage your speakers. After that, guys, this is your battery plug right there. Some of you may have a black piece of tape over it. As seen here, when the computer was first opened, you may have to take that black piece of tape and just bend it back a little bit. But after that tape is removed, you can unplug this. Now, as with any wires in a computer, guys, try not to pull on the wires. Uh, put your fingernails on either grip there on that plug or a pry tool or a pair of pliers or something other than pulling on wires if you can help it. And you can just jimmy that plug right out of that port. For those of you that want the battery information, it's right here. This is an HP brand name battery, model number CC03XL right there. The HP part number is L776084222. I'll have all that information below in the description. And again, I'll have a replacement battery option in that link that I told you about earlier. And just as a suggestion, if you're here to replace the battery, in my experience, guys, only about 65, maybe 70% of generic batteries work. So if you replace the battery with a generic one because you want to save a few bucks, that's fine. I do it too. But if the new battery doesn't work, you may want to try switching over to an HP battery. You may have better luck with that. Okay, so that's the battery video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment though, please do. I do try to get back to those a couple times a day at least. Thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.